Hello everybody, we've got a new update from the Old School RuneScape team, and as you might be able to tell, there is a new banner on the Old School RuneScape website. I don't know whether they're going to be making this the new Old School RuneScape logo, or whether they're just keeping this for the free-to-play launch. Either way, it looks quite cool. It's got a slightly older feel on the actual RuneScape bit. However, I don't like the fact that there's a big banner that says Old School. I think maybe Jagex are just trying to differentiate between RuneScape 3 and Old School RuneScape. But anyway, let's get into permanent free-to-play. So Permanent Free to Play is here, and just in time for the second birthday of Old School RuneScape. So let's have a look at Permanent Free to Play and what they've been doing with Free to Play. Permanent Free to Play is here for Old School. Anyone and everyone can log in and play the Free to Play area of the game until their heart's content. Both new and existing accounts have access to Free to Play Old School. So whether you're a new or old player, you can hop on and play for free. They're making some small changes to the free to play portion of the game to accompany the release of free to play. So we're going to start off with use, lobsters and wilderness fishing spots. Some time ago they removed the ability for free to play players to chop yew trees or fish lobsters as they're introducing some additional limitations to free to play players which will be detailed slightly further on. They've now made it possible for free to play players to chop yew trees and fish lobsters. In addition to this, the dark crab fishing spots found in the wilderness will now act as tuna, lobster and swordfish fishing spots when logged into free to play worlds. Next, the additional NPCs in and around Lumbridge. In order to help deal with the expected influx of players, they've increased the number of low level monsters that are spawned in and around Lumbridge. They have also added some additional areas to kill chickens, cows, goblins and frogs. They hope that this will make it simpler for new players to find places to get training and to do so without overcrowding. Next, Skippy has returned. Skippy, the NPC that allows you to skip to Tutorial Island, has now returned. This is to help deal with the large number of players that may end up on Tutorial Island and reduce overcrowding. Although, Skippy will be removed from Tutorial Island at some point in the near future, once Tutorial Island is slightly less active. Next, the free to play account limits. For the first 24 hours of in-game time on a newly made free to play account, players cannot trade items off their account. They can still receive items, but they cannot trade their items away. In addition to trading being restricted, they've also restricted other ways of transferring items to prevent players circumventing the limits. So if you drop an item manually, the item is visible only to you. It does not ever become visible to other players. If you die to a PKer, they will receive loot. However, any stacks of items that you held when you died will be reduced to one. For example, if you died with 1000 coins, the PKer that killed you will only receive one. Now that sounds like a good idea, however it's a little unfair with mages and rangers because they have to have stacks of arrows and runes to actually do fighting. And you cannot add items to a trade offer or jewel offer. When the trade screen opens, a message on the screen will tell you how long it will be until you can offer items. They'll be carefully monitoring the impact and effectiveness of these limitations over the release of free to play, and will relax them if they can find that they can keep on top of the bots after the initial launch rush. If your account ever becomes a member after this update, these restrictions will stop applying to you and will not come back if you unsubscribe in the future. One thing that sounds strange when you're reading this is free to play is getting a lot of limitations. However, as stated at the start of this section, that this is only in your first 24 hours of gameplay. Next, the starter kit tool. To aid the community in free to play based events and helping give new players a great start to the game, they've given access to a spawner tool for some members of the community. Clan leaders, live streamers and players focusing on hosting free to play events will be able to use this tool to spawn a limited number of starter kits each day for new or returning players during events. Next, Game Blast and the Well of Goodwill. Now this is something they mentioned a few days ago. If you want to watch the Jagex video on Game Blast 2015, please click here for their video on that. So it's back, and bigger than before. It's Game Blast 15. Just like last year, they'll be streaming for a full non-stop 24 hours on the Special Effect Twitch channel. Starting at 12 noon British time on Friday the 20th of February, right the way through to 12 noon the following day. This year, they're taking it to the next level with explosive events and activities, including two fully-fledged challenge teams who'll be going head-to-head -head with each other throughout the full 24 hours. They'll also be hosting some pretty hot live entertainment, including a live firewalk outside of the Jagex offices. Of course, they'll be featuring all our favourite J-Mods on the live stream and showcasing some awesome game content. They'll be reopening the Well of Goodwill too, an in-game feature which allows us to donate in-game wealth to raise money for special effect. With every million coins donated, they'll convert that into one US dollar. All money raised through the Well will be sent directly to charity. Game Blast is a community event, so they've invited over 30 players to join them at Jagex HQ this year featuring on the live stream and adding to the great lineup they've got planned. Last year they raised almost £50,000 for special effect, and this year they're hoping to raise even more. With our help, they know it's possible, and with the video they've posted, it's just a bit of a teaser for what they've got planned for the night. 
So stock up on energy drinks, get your snacks on standby, and prepare for an action-packed night of fun, laughs, gasps, and mad XP gains. Remember, if you want to watch that, tune in to the Special Effect Twitch channel this Friday at 12pm British time. They'll also be all over Twitter, where you can get involved using the hashtag GameBlast15. Next, Old School's second birthday. They're celebrating the second birthday of Old School this week. And what a fantastic couple of years it's been. Head over to Varrock Center to grab yourself a slice. Pick up the brand new cow outfit, finally get your hands on a warship, and celebrate. In Varrock, there'll be an enormous cake for all the Old School players to share, as well as a couple of stools where we can pick up gifts from the Old School team. With the Grand Exchange, Achievement Diaries, and lots more to come, they're excited to get started with the third year. They thank us for all our continued support, and for making Old School the game it is today. In other news, they fixed the grammar on the examine info of the Light Infinity Colour Kit. They fixed the spacing on a signpost in Morton. They fixed the spelling of a message given while chopping Ents. And they've adjusted some item packs availability on free-to-play worlds to be consistent with the items within them. If you want to discuss this update, please go on the forums or in my comments below. Today's Thursday, so 5pm British time, the Old School RuneScape team will be hosting a developer Q&A on the RuneScape Twitch.tv channel. They'll be answering all the most pressing questions from the Old School community live at 5pm. Immediately following the developer Q&A, they'll be hosting a free-to-play kickoff livestream where they run through Tutorial Island with masses of players and get stuck into some low-level Old School content. So be sure to join them. And if you missed that stuff, it's always on their past broadcasts on the RuneScape Twitch channel and they usually put that stuff on their Old School RuneScape YouTube channel. So this is an amazing update, free to play is finally permanent. Jagex have got a great live stream plan for this weekend, which I believe will have an old school bot busting segment, and old school has turned 2. So we've had this great game for 2 years, and soon we're going to be getting a lot of big updates such as the Grand Exchange, Achievement Diaries, and probably even Zaya. If you want to keep up to date with the old school room to get updates, dev blogs, and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching, goodbye.